Hey everyone, Mark here from Pine Tech. Uh, no edits, but today I wanted to make a video of uh, my compact holster and how to wear it on the belt line. Uh, the model of gun that I'll be using is a Smith & Wesson Shield. It is free and clear of any rounds, ammunition, so is the magazine, so it is safe. And my holster is a my compact, my most popular holster. Uh, inside the waistband, concealed carry. I will do another video just about the holster itself, but this is a full sweat shield, 10 degree cant setup. This is my personal favorite choice to carry, as well as one of my most common made holsters that I do for the setup wise. Um, so I'm gonna show it on my belt line and probably the three most common carrying positions. Uh, then I'll untuck my shirt and show you how it wears as far as printing goes and just do a little bit of quick discussion. Hopefully this helps answer some questions for maybe the, the new concealed carry holster, uh, concealed carry permit holders out there, um, or just anybody in general. So I'm gonna adjust the camera here real, real quick. All right. All right, so this is the Pendex carry. This is my favorite carry position. Uh, again, 10 degrees, full sweat shield, and my compact holster. Uh, this is my preferred setup, also the most popular that I make. Um, as you can see here, uh, I have no problem with the 10 degree as far as drawing. I like it. Uh, a vertical straight up and down. Uh, a lot of people ask for, which is just as fine. I don't mind the 10 degree. I think when I go to grab, that little extra 10 degrees isn't too much. Plus, my left hand's going to be up here pulling my shirt up. So I'm going to be going like that motion. No problem. Uh, the next, probably most popular, I'm going to get is behind the hip. You know, your four, four, five o'clock range three, four, five o'clock range. I typically like to wear it right around three to four. I don't mind it right on the side. Um, again, it depends right on your body type. But we'll do a little look at that right there, how it fits. Uh, it's really snug on the body. Uh, if you get yourself a good belt, which I currently don't have on, I do have a lot of uh, nylon web belts that I that I wear with cover buckles or D-rings, D whatever. Um, so there's that position, and then third, by a long stretch, I don't know, there's, maybe there's other carry options, but small of the back. I do get a lot of people that carry back here, small of the back. Um, not really my favorite choice. I think it's just because in the seating position, it really pushes on my lower spine, and I don't like that. Um, and then two, a lot of people ask, you know, do I order a right hand or a left hand? And I guess that's up to you, your flexibility, your body type. For me, if I'm going to carry this smaller back, I'm going to use this probably the same holster. Um, for me, because I can reach around, pull it, and then draw pretty easy. Um, otherwise, there's the palm in is how it is. Or you could have it, a left-hand holster would actually be palm out, where you come around, palm out, and then pull it out that way. But if you're right-handed you're really limiting your holster options. I mean, you order that, you're stuck with that. As if you do a right hand and maybe just practice with that draw, again, it's gonna be what's comfortable for you. Um, you'll be able to use your holster anywhere. Um, you know, one thing to really practice on too with an unloaded firearm is if you do get small the back is your draw. So come around and then as you pull up, don't sweep yourself, come to the side and then twist, you know, pull your elbow in so as you draw left up, over, and then out. You don't really want to sweep yourself. So let's uh, put this back here. We'll do a quick little untuck. I'll give you guys a little, little uh, show of how well the holster is going to print and all that kind of fun stuff. All right, so I have a fairly tight T-shirt on, which is actually probably good for this demonstration because it'll really show you how well you can hide something or how well something's going to stick out. So appendix carry. Not moving, moving, side shot. For me, this works great. Good position for me. Um, printing is next to none. If I push my stomach out, you know, you see the, the butt of the handle there. Um, the only problem with the Pendex is tying your shoes. Tying your shoes sucks. Uh, and bending over, but in short bursts, no big deal. Uh, sitting down, not horrible. You get used to it. Uh, carrying a holster is comforting that you have a firearm and you're there to protect your life. Um, 
and it's also uncomforting at times. So it's a kind of a, it's a, you got to give something to gain something. All right, so let's go next position. We're gonna go around to, let's call it four o'clock. We're gonna go back to four o'clock. Put it up nice and tight. All right, so we'll do a little spin. You might see a little of the butt of the handle. Um, if you're new to a concealed carry, you might be a little nervous at first as far as printing. Uh, my recommendation is don't worry about it. Uh, I've been carrying for a little over six years and I think that at first you kind of worry about it like you think it's a big deal like someone's going to notice it. But I don't think people do. No one cares. No one looks in that area. Everybody has huge cell phones nowadays or something on their waistline that no one probably thinks twice of it. Um, I see people open carrying all the time. I go, hey, look at that person open carrying. And like, oh, what? Someone has a gun out? You know, most people don't even notice it. So anyways, I think that's a feeling that's naturally going to subside. But for now, if you're new, uh, you might worry about it a little bit. That's all right. That's probably natural. All right. So four o'clock. Uh, the biggest thing that I notice when I carry back here is when you bend over, you know, that bad boy's in a show. But again, it's usually a quick burst. Like, kid drops something on the ground or whatever. You go pick something up. There you go. Done and over with. Um, there. You know, like, actually, that's a perfect example. It got hung up on my shirt a little bit. Again, this is a tight shirt. But it got hung up, you know. And one thing, too, if you're uh, carrying, uh, don't play with your holster. You know, get a good belt. Um, which hopefully in the future I'll be making some belts here, but get a good belt. Um, you don't want it sagging and all that kind of stuff. So that's probably one of the biggest things. Good holster, good belt. And then we'll do small back real quick. Again, I'm trying to cut down on the video time here. I like to ramble though. All right, small the back. You know, if you're standing up and all that kind of stuff, this really isn't a bad position. I think it's kind of comfortable. I just hate sitting down with it on the small the back. It's um, very uncomfortable for me have the gun pushing against my spine but again bending over might show off a little bit at first but yeah so again guys that's my compact holster uh, Smith & Wesson shield which is a great concealed uh, carry weapon um, Glock 43 PPS M2 any any of those any of those XDS's any of those guns that are like one inch wide are fantastic to carry they're really comfortable um, this actually isn't my primary carry gun. My primary carry gun is MMPC Compact 40 cal. This is my primary gun. Same holster for the most part. And it's got a little more thickness width to it. But again, and it's got more weight. I'm just used to it. This is the gun I've been carrying for six years. I have more guns. And this is just my workhorse. It's the gun that I carry. And I practice with it and I'm used to it. So anyways... Uh, thanks for watching my video guys. I uh, hope that helped. If you want me to make any more videos or elaborate on something, let me know. Um, I'll also do a, a video on the MMP Shield there, that holster. So thanks for watching my videos. Visit my site www.pinetech.com. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, a little bit of Twitter. Uh, thanks for watching.